All right, so today, because it's springtime, we're gonna go ahead and make a vase out of flowers. So I'm gonna do it again with my ballpoint pen or marker so you guys can see it. But again, I encourage you guys to do it with pencil. So I'm gonna hold my paper up and down just like this. And then I'm actually going to do two things. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a vase. So I'm actually gonna use one of these pieces of paper and I'm gonna draw the vase and cut it out. So if you have construction paper, you can do this. Um, totally your choice. So the easiest way for me to make a vase is with like a circle. So I'm gonna make my circle and then on the top of the circle, somewhere up here, I'm gonna make like a line. So I've got a line in the circle, really weird, right? And now I'm gonna make like a backwards or a C that connects the line to the circle. And over here, I'm gonna make a backwards C. So this is gonna be my vase. If I wanna come down, I can come around and make it a little bit bigger, whatever you want. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut out my vase. Now with my vase, I have a couple choices. I can just glue it on as is, or I can, this is gonna be the back obviously where the black lines are. I'm going to add a pattern. So with Easter coming up, I could, you know, again, this is recycling, this, this is gonna be my vase. And then all my flowers are gonna come up here. I'm actually gonna make this a little bit smaller. So I'm just gonna take my scissors just kind of trim it just a little bit. So there's my vase. So before I glue it on though, I'm gonna make a pattern with my vase. And then of course I need to make a table so that my vase is not flying. So I'm just gonna use, I've got some markers and color pencils here today. So I'm gonna use some color pencils. I have these like woodless color pencils. Um, they're awesome. Really easy to sharpen, but the only thing you have to be really careful about is as soon as they fall on the floor, they do snap. So you just have to be really careful. So I'm just gonna get a couple pieces, a couple colors, and I'm just gonna make a pattern. I'm just gonna do some lines. And you'll notice that my lines are going onto the white paper. That's gonna be the back of my paper, so I'm not worried about it. And then, Maybe here I'll come in and do some random circles to make my pattern. Now this would be something cute where you could write your name on it or you could write like, I love spring or whatever you want. I could put like an S for my last name, whatever I want. So again, this is gonna be my mind. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write my name on there. Pretending I'm at school. And this is gonna be where, where my vase is. So before I actually glue my vase on, I'm gonna do, take it one step further, I'm gonna make a table on my paper because I don't want my vase to fall. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a line here. Oh no, I made a mistake. This is why you always do it with a pencil so you can erase things. So I'm just gonna make a line here. Again, that's gonna be where my table is so I can glue my vase on and make my flowers. So going with this mistake I just made with this line, I'm just gonna make a checkered tablecloth for my table. So again, like I was telling you the other day, if you don't have a ruler, you can use a straight edge from like a card piece of, a box of cardboard or, or I mean a, a cardboard box or a piece of recycled paper, whatever you want. So there is my tablecloth. And I'm actually really quickly gonna do lines this way. And then if time allowed, I would probably go ahead and make this into a checkered table and color it in, whether I'm using pink or white, or maybe I wanna do two colors. And just really quickly, when I'm coloring in my spaces, I'm just gonna go side to side, taking my time, trying to stay inside of that shape. And then I'm gonna keep going. So I really encourage you to go slow when you're coloring, right? Because I don't want to make a mistake and accidentally go outside of this square and fill in all that white space, right? Because if I just kind of come in here and scribble, scribble, it's going to look incomplete. So I want to make sure I go back, take my time, and really fill that space in. 
So for time purposes, we're just gonna pretend that I filled in my whole picnic table. So now I've got my table done and my vase done. Now I need some flowers. So before I do my flowers, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to glue my vase on. So watch really carefully how I'm gonna glue my vase on. I'm gonna show you. So I'm going to put a dot of glue wherever these blue dots are. Notice that I'm not putting any glue in the middle or at the top. And the reason for that is because I'm gonna use that green paper for my stems. So I'm just gonna do some dots. Now, if you don't have construction paper, don't worry about it. You can just use, you can just draw the vase. So don't worry about that. So I'm just gonna flip it over and glue it carefully on my table. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to take this green paper and I'm going to use my scissors and I'm actually just gonna cut straight across the end. So I'm gonna do about five. One, they're gonna be pretty thin. Two, three, four, five. And then, so now I've got five vases, I mean, excuse me, five strips of paper. And I'm actually gonna hold them again and I'm gonna cut them in half. And I'm gonna make one side a little bit longer than the other. So now I've got five plus five is 10. So now I'm gonna just take a couple of these, do one, two, three dots on each line, and I'm gonna carefully slide it into my vase, just like this. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna glue all of my stems down. into the vase. I can have some that are overlapping, some that are taller than others. I'm gonna make this one go all the way off the page. So, oops. You can do as many as you want. So I might have some short ones. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Do a couple more. Do one that's going all the way over here. Seven. We'll do one more. Eight. Now, if you have bigger paper than me, you might have more space. Again, if you're not, if you don't have paper, you can just draw the stems. Not a big deal. So now I have a couple options. I can grab another piece of white paper and I can make my flowers. Or if you have construction paper like I do right here. I'm gonna just move that out of the way. I'm gonna draw some flowers on here that I can cut out. So the easiest way for me to make a flower, I'm gonna show you a couple tips, is a tulip, which is the letter U. Then I'm just gonna go down like a V and down again like a V. So again, it's just the letter U, V, and another V. And if you want, you could do like U, V, 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 whatever. So <clears throat> that's one really easy shape. So I can cut those out. And then another easy shape for me to do, I obviously want different colors. I don't want just purple flowers, but I actually don't have any other colored paper. So now I'm gonna get some white paper and draw some flowers on my white paper. So I'm gonna start with a circle in the middle. So, and I'm gonna color this in because I'm going to end up cutting it out. So I'm just gonna carefully color my circle in. I might get a different color, not purple, because I already have too many purples. Maybe I wanna get yellow. And I'm gonna do just a long U. It's like this long skinny rainbow and I'm just gonna go all the ways around. So now I've got one flower, just like that. So again, I'm gonna cut, carefully cut it out. And when you're cutting it out, just carefully follow around the edge of the flower. Just go slow, open and closing your scissors. So I'm just open closing and carefully moving my paper. I'm taking my time. to 
just cut out all of those shapes. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've cut out a couple flowers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna glue them on. I'm gonna tell you something that I really like to pay attention to is the back of the flowers. So I wanna finish this whole picture and I don't want anyone to know that I used, I drew out the flower first. I want that to be our secret. So that's the side I'm gonna put the glue on. So when I glue my flower on, I'm just gonna go ahead and figure out, like I wanna put it here. So I'm just gonna put one big dot there and I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna glue it on. And it's falling off the page and that's totally fine, right? It looks awesome. So then I'm gonna take a couple other flowers. Again, I don't wanna glue the back of the flower because it might go off the page. So I'm gonna put a dot here, glue it on. I've got a stem there, so I'm gonna go ahead and overlap it. So I'm just gonna put, I'm gonna actually glue this whole flower on. I'm gonna put that flower there. Then I'm gonna slide another tulip back there. So I am gonna just put a dot there and kind of slide it back to have that overlapping. So that's where my where my flowers are at right now. So I still have lots of space and lots of room for more flowers. Oops, I'm gonna slide that back. I do wanna create a lot of overlapping so it looks as realistic as possible. So I need to make one, two, three more flowers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this to the side again and I'm gonna draw some more flowers. So again, I'm just drawing, starting with a circle. You can use any kind of materials you want for this. If you don't have paper, again, you can draw it out. If you want to use markers, color pencils, whatever you want. So I've got three more flowers, so I'm going to kind of switch it up. So I'm going to, again, do like a circle. Maybe inside of this one, I'll do like lots of little circles to create some pollen, and then I'll color it in yellow. Sorry. So I just drew the circle, and now I'm adding little circles to create what it looks like is going to be pollen. And I'm going to take that yellow color pencil and just kind of lightly color it in. Okay. And then I'm just going to go ahead and I can also, instead of doing the U shape, I'm going to come down and, and come to like a point and go back up. So I'm going to come down almost like a C and go back up. So like a smile and a rainbow, smile and a rainbow. And if you're coloring with markers, one thing really quickly about coloring with markers is I, I like to outline the shape first and then I like to go side to side and color in this space. So again, I like to outline the shape first and color side to side to fill in the shape. So just take your time when you're coloring because you want it to look awesome. So you don't wanna make any mistakes and you just, want to go slow all in the same direction. Notice that my markers are all going in the same direction. All right, so I just went ahead and I finished coloring and cutting out the rest of my flowers. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue them on. So I'm just gonna finish up here, kind of spread them out. Gonna add a little bit more glue so that the flowers don't fall off. Cause I would hate for that to happen cause you work so hard on your artwork and you definitely don't want it to fall off. So now my vase looks pretty awesome, right? I've got all those flowers. It's 3D, it's like a little bit 3D. I've got that nice face, and then I've got that tablecloth, which I need to do, of course. So I encourage you guys to make your own flowers. Let me know what it looks like. Again, if you don't again, if you don't have paper, don't worry about it. Just color it out. So I hope you guys have fun.